you know, my friends, <laughs> you know, and been, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm in a, <laughs> I, I laugh so because I still get emails from guys telling me, worried about getting too much milk. And one, I got an email from a fellow that says, should he concentrate more on carbohydrates and vegetables thing because he wants to build his body. And I understand a protein oh, is bad for the kidneys. Oh, I took a sigh. I said, Mike, it's so much really shit out there that guys don't even have an idea what they're talking about. There's nothing. Well, let me tell you something, my friends. When we were training, I hate to say it, we we shun vegetables. I, said, I laughed now because I eat vegetables now. You know, I'm an old man, and I learned a little more about alkalinity and, and eating of, of fruits and vegetables. But we were oblivious of that. All we knew that the more protein we ate, of course, I don't want to, I hate going back to the past. A lot of older guys do that and people get annoyed. But in those days, they didn't tamper with the meat and the chicken and hormone them up and stuff like they do today to make more money. Now, people think that all these so-called advancements is for them. It's not for them, it's for the buck. Feeding cows hormones and chickens, all kinds of, so they grow fast. And not for you, baby. It's for the dollar. Because if it was for you, it would still be the old way. Anyhow, that's beside the point. Let me tell you, my friends, there's no substitute for protein. And if you don't understand it, you're going to be scratching your head and never develop any muscle. You'll be, be what they call skinny fat. I see a lot of the vegetarians just come in the store crying like babies in a sense. You know, I'm exaggerating. You know, I do five sets of that, six sets of that, seven sets of that. And they, especially the girls. And they're flabby as hell. I said, you're not fat, honey. You're flabby. And they look at you in total astonishment. I said, look at you. You're not overweight. You're flabby because you're not feeding your muscle. Some of these people go so on the, the far end that they think long as it's meat, they're eating healthy. They'll have a bag of potato chips and, 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 and uh, uh, orange juice, and they think because it's vegetarian, they're going to build something. There is no substitute your body, your organs are made of protein. You cannot overdose if you can eat too much protein in your ass because the end product of protein that gets to this nitrogen, which is the strangest thing, is toxic. A varied diet is the key. But if you want to build your body, you have to concentrate on your intake of protein or you're not going to be satisfied in your results. You see, I, I, I don't know why I'm going through this again, because, but I'm going through because there's always people looking for somebody I heard, I read, and all that kind of things. I'm telling you not what I heard and what I read. I'm telling you what I know. Because when we were training, we ate hardly, I mean, we didn't eat vegetables, that's all. Not because of any reason. We just knew that when we ate plenty of fish, not fish, because fish was on the end, steak, chicken, and fish, Cottage cheese, eggs, milk. This was our diet. Skim milk powder, orange juice. That was basically our diet. We would, the only vegetable we get would be the potatoes and the onions where we got our steak every night at the French Romanian restaurant, the, 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 the Frank steak, whatever they call it, cheap steak, but it was two pounds of it for $2, dollar a pound. And they give you the onions and potatoes, but that's the Tell you the potatoes, but the only vegetable we got. But we thrived. We thrived on it. We grew, we were like ran to go. We were youngsters, 15, 16, 17, 18. We were, but ran and made us so strong. Now we knew when we left the gym and we went to the restaurant, because we used to go after the gym. And when we didn't get go to the gym, the day we didn't go to the gym, we get together, we go to the French Romani restaurant. And we'd have our steak and our sauteed onions and the potatoes. You get a French fried or mash. And that's what we had. And sometimes, uh, I know you guys, uh, we'd have a, a mug of beer to wash it down. 
But you see, my friends, when you're training hard, your body burns and utilizes that. You could eat like we ate and sit around on your ass. You get sick and everything else. I know, I don't know, most of you guys may not have heard of Phelps, that uh, unbelievable swimmer to run all those records. When I saw his diet, I was astounded. He ate 12,000 calories a day, and he ate everything but the kitchen sink. But he burnt it out. You look at his body and see how tight it was, and loads of protein. Over seven, 800 grams of protein a day, 1,000 grams of protein a day. But he used it. And that's the mistake guys make. They want to eat like an athlete and sit on their ass and watch television. No, they can't do that. The body will punish you if you do that. Why do you see these people wallowing around way overweight? Because they eat like they're doing something. But getting back to diet, if you ate up, take an example. I always use examples. Take a guy that's heavy in protein, a guy heavy in vegetables. Tell me who's the better athlete. Name me one athlete. I could be wrong. A world-class athlete. That's a vegetarian. One. Because there's no muscle. That's that simple. And then they say, oh, it's got amino acid. There's so, you know, sometimes, I don't know. I, I've been around some amino acids by themselves do not make the muscle. It's the 21 amino acids combined that makes a protein. But yet they try to get around it by saying, well, it's amino acids and broccoli. No. Yeah, but it doesn't build muscle because it's not complete. The only vegetable that is um, complete protein is soybeans. And that is not the finest grade of protein because some of the essential aminos it's not present. It's present, but in low amounts. So the point simply is, you've got to look and see examples, my friend. Vegetables, and fruit, is, I eat that more now than I ever did in my life. Of course, earlier, I just wasn't aware of it. I mean, of course, as I got older, I mean, uh, when I got in my 20s and th late 20s and 30s, it was more aware of the value of vegetables because of alkalinity. Protein is acidic, vegetables is alkaline. The body is healthy in an alkaline state. But the point is, if you eat properly, you'll have a, a more or less of a, an even balance in the chemistry of the body. But you cannot compare protein with vegetables. Because I'll tell you something, my friend. All you have to do is, people don't think in reason. Take a complete vegetarian diet, complete. And then you got them, they go to the point of vegan, you know, where you don't have no, no, not even eggs or budget people. And I tell you, most of the times, that's why I have a fun with vegetarians. A lot of it's emotional. They don't like to kill them. Animals, what does that got to do with nutrition? But that's the thing, you know? But it's emotional. I hear them, they come and say, I'm a vegetarian with their heads up. Hey, what the hell do I care? If you eat horse shit, what do I care with you? Why you gotta announce it to me? Like you're doing. Now the point simply is, and then they get all these what fascinates me. All these substitute uh think like substitute hamburgers made out of vegetables. No. If you don't want to be bothered with meat, why you gotta get substitutes? Because it's mental. Not all of it. But most of it's emotional and mental. But I don't go that way. I'm just one of those hard editorials, you know. Show me the damn facts. I don't want all that comfort thinking. I'm not a comfort thinker. I don't think would make me feel good. I, I look to find out what is true, what is working, what is reality, you see. And I, I, it's funny, even when we were years ago, I mean, you know, when we were training, we were eating all that protein. We had one vegetarian in the gym, and he was in such pain because he's the only one there. And he's trying to tell us, and of course, I hate to say it, friends, uh, he was the weakest guy in the gym. But he's telling us the wonders of a vegetarian diet. He might as well have been talking to the moon. Nobody paying him any attention. He was the worst example of any kind of diet. But yet he was telling us how much we eat too much protein, too much, no, you didn't say protein, I don't remember him using the word then. You eat too much meat, you eat 
I said, oh my God, these guys are like evangelists. They're going to teach you that shit whether you, whether, they're not happy be eating this vegetable. He had to try to explore the dust and he made a laughing stock out of himself, especially in those days, you know. But I got to tell you guys that ask me about protein and vegetable, vegetable. You drive me, you don't drive me nuts, but I, I get so many emails on that. How, how much protein? Like they're dealing with some kind of a poison. Your body is made of protein, not vegetables. Vegetables don't build nothing. It's good for minerals, health, and um, because it's got minerals in it primarily, that's the value of, of, of vegetables. But it stops there. And of course, it has carbs which give you energy. Because see, the body will convert protein to carbs. But you can't convert carbs to protein. So it's money multifaceted. That's why you need large amounts of, of protein and thrive and you eat a large amount of carbs, absent of protein, and you're big as a damn baby. So I was just telling people, look at examples, just like I say at anything. When I see a guy on YouTube with a 14-inch arm telling me how to build my arms, I say, where does he get the call from? You put anything on YouTube. If he knows how to build arms, how come he don't have it? How come he has no development? And you see... I don't believe in the juice guys, but at whatever they do, you get cute. They, you know that they worked hard to get what they get. You don't take juice and sit down and look at television and wait for muscles. You got to break your ass. And you got to devise ways to build your body, but it's personalized. And that's why I don't like the exporting of it. And these young fellas think, oh, all I got to do is take the juice. They, they're growing up, they got this thing that there's some magic in the juice. And then you say, okay, after you take the juice, you know that juice build muscle. Juice don't build any muscle. Just like I say, protein don't build muscle. It recovers. And it, re it doesn't build muscles itself. It recovers from the trauma of your training to have more muscles for your subsequent training. See, the body prepares you. It's a beautiful instrument. And it works. The difference with the body is... It complains, it don't explain. It tells you exactly what you should have to do, but you gotta have, you gotta be unlocked the door. You have to have some instinct to know what the body wants. So when it comes to protein and vegetarian, a varied diet is the best diet you're gonna have, some protein and vegetables. But let me tell you, my friend, if it's a choice, there's no choice. Concentrate on that protein because that is what's going to make you vital and that's what's going to give you strength and that's essential for your recuperation and your immune system. I'm, I'm telling you now because I've evolved vegetables are very good. But I'm so annoyed with these guys telling me like vegetables is godly and something sinful about protein. You got to be careful with it. <laughs> that's not the way. That's not, that's not it. That's simple. And I tell you something, it's not something I heard or read. It's something I know. <laughs> now, I'm going to say my sign-off now, to be continued.